Terminology can be confusing, especially when it comes to closing costs. Uh, the term is tossed around a lot, and here's a, what I think is kind of a simple explanation. There's three aspects to closing costs when you're buying a house. There's the actual closing costs, there's the prepaid items, and then there's the, the down payment. The actual closing costs, these are the fees that you pay to the bank for the appraisal, credit report, uh, checking to make sure the property isn't in a flood zone, also New York State mortgage tax, also a recording fee to make sure that uh, the property is recorded in your name properly. There's also a bank attorney fee. Uh, as far as the prepaid items, these are things that you pay in advance. So in New York State, you prepay 10 months worth of taxes, you prepay the hazard insurance, and then you also prepay, it's called an interim interest charge, and if you close on the last day of the month, the charge is zero. If you close on the first of the month, it's a full payment. We usually try to set our closings around the 15th to the 20th of the month, especially for renters. Great way to do it. You've got a week and a half to get into the property, and you save on the closing costs. And then the third aspect is down payment. This is the part that can vary. Uh, there's mortgage loans uh, where you can get in with zero down payment. Uh, FHA is 2.5% down payment. Many conventional loans are 3%, 5%, 10%, or 20%. So that's closing costs. 